pre-shipment inspection. The nature and scope of the inspection performed varies depending upon the requirement of the user government. Initially, the primary objective of pre-shipment inspection was to protect the foreign exchange resources of the user government and the pre-shipment inspection consisted of the verification of the quantity, quality and export market price of the goods being exported. However, in recent years, inspection companies have been requested to extend the scope of their activities in order to enhance customs revenue collection. Essentially, this involves the inspection company verifying the value for customs purposes, the accuracy of the tariff codes classification, and the calculation of the corresponding duties and taxes payable. In this lesson, we will cover various aspects of pre-shipment inspection. After studying this lesson, you should be able to understand need for pre-shipment inspection, voluntary inspection, advantages of pre-shipment inspection. Government of India notifies from time to time a number of goods whose export is subject to compulsory quality control or pre-shipment inspection. Consequently, the Indian Customs Authorities will require the submission of an inspection certificate issued by the designated agency before permitting the shipment to take place. The basis of inspection is usually the importer's specification except in the case of export of goods involving safety or health hazards where notified minimum standards are enforced. Inspection of export goods may be conducted under consignment-wise inspection, in-process quality control, self-certification. After the inspector has completed inspection, the Export Inspection Agency will issue the inspection certificate in triplicate. The original certificate is for the customs verification. It is submitted to the customs authorities along with other documents before permission to ship goods is granted. The second copy may be sent to the buyer if needed. The third copy is for the exporter record. There are primarily two different types of pre-shipment inspection, namely voluntary inspection, compulsory inspection. Voluntary pre-shipment inspection of the export shipments is done by the exporter himself, by the buyer's representative, by the buying agent in the exporter's country, by the inspection agencies in the private sector. Compulsory pre-shipment inspection is conducted by the Government of India agencies like Export Inspection Council through its Export Inspection Agencies, Textile Committee, Development Commissioner of Handicrafts, Central Silk Board, the primary responsibility for inspection of the goods rests with the exporter himself. He should conduct the inspection of the goods during the process of manufacturing at the stage of finished product and also in regard to the packaging and packing materials. It is essential that the manufacturer should install proper quality control system in the factory to check the quality at all stages of manufacture of the goods. Many a time, the foreign buyer may arrange for inspection of goods through his own representative in the exporter country before the goods are dispatched by the exporter. The exporter can send the shipment only when the buyer's representative issues a satisfaction report to the exporter. In cases where the export order is placed with the exporter through a buying agent in his country, the goods can be dispatched only after the buying agent has issued the satisfaction report to the exporter. Buying agents conduct inspection at different stages to ensure the shipment conforms 
to the quality requirements of the exporter. Sometimes the buyer may specify an inspection agency in the exporter's country to satisfy himself as regards to the quality of the goods. In such a case, the exporter should approach that agency in his country and get the pre-shipment inspection completed. In India, one of the leading agencies in the private sector is the SGS India Limited, with its head office in Mumbai. The exporter should ascertain the procedure and documentation formalities of the agency concerned so that the inspection of goods can be arranged to ensure timely shipment of goods. Compulsory pre-shipment inspection is carried out by various agencies of the government in accordance with the regulations framed by the Government of India from time to time. The most significant legislation to provide for sound envelopment of the export trade through quality control and pre-shipment inspection is the Export Act 1963. Under this Act, the central government is empowered to notify commodities which shall be subject to quality control or inspection or both prior to export. Specify the type of quality control or inspection which shall be applied to a notified commodity. Establish, adopt or recognize one or more standard specifications for a notified commodity. Prohibit the export in course of international trade of a notified commodity unless it is accompanied by a certificate issued under sec Section 7 that the commodity satisfied the condition relating to quality control or inspection or it has been affixed or applied to it a mark or seal recognized by the central government as indicating that it conforms to the standard specifications available to it under Clause C. The Government of India has established five export inspection agencies, one each at Mumbai, Calcutta, Cochin, Delhi and Chennai under Section 7 of the Export Quality Control and Inspection Act 1963 with effective 1-2-1966. These agencies work under the administrative and technical control of the Export Inspection Council. Besides, the Export Inspection Council has also recognized number of private agencies to act as inspection agencies to issue pre-shipment inspection certificate. In order to promote exports of quality goods as per the international standards, the Government of India has introduced com compulsory quality control and pre-shipment inspection for 90% of the items of export under one or the other systems as per the Export Quality Control and Pre-Shipment Inspection Act 1963. The Government of India has set up Export Inspection Council EIC to monitor the quality of goods meant for exports. The EIC has set up five export inspection agencies EIA at Mumbai, Kolkata, Cochin, Delhi and Chennai. The EIAs has a network of nearly 62 offices throughout India. These EIAs have certain specific areas under their jurisdiction. There are many variants to the modalities of pre-shipment inspection depending on the contractual requirements of the client country. The physical inspection of goods is needed to confirm the information given by the importer, performer invoice or any other evidence and or to monitor if required compliance with national and international regulations. The technical aspects of the price analysis of goods are described in detail in a separate document. Another method used by importers to avoid payment of taxes is the misclassification of goods in the National Customs Tariff Code under a tariff heading carrying a lower tax rate. The customs classification of goods consists of checking whether the tariff code assigned to the goods 
corresponds to the description given in the tariff code on the basis of documentary evidence and physical inspection of goods. The purpose of this exercise is to calculate the correct import duty for given merchandise. PSI contracts could require that the data on prices generated through PSI should be supplied to the customs authorities. Price data generated through PSI interventions could be useful for governments, especially when custom services develop their own valuation capacity. All goods which have been inspected should be marked by work. However, more and more goods are being stored in containers for export. Some country instructions require that in addition to the physical inspection, inspectors should seal full container loads FCL, of goods consigned to that country. Pre-shipment inspection agencies may be mandated by the authorities to control compliance of imported goods with national and international regulations. Principles may also require that work check the status of the importer before accepting to carry out the pre-shipment inspection service. Principles may require that works verifies whether the transaction is in compliance with the laws of the importing country. Work may be requested to calculate the customs duties and taxes payable in accordance with the tariff rates applicable under the customs tariff code of the client country. Work may be mandated to monitor temporary exemptions on customs duties and taxes granted by the authorities. The reconciliation exercise consists in verifying whether the amount of customs duties and taxes to be paid by importers pursuant to the intervention of work have been declared collectible and have been duly collected by the customs authorities. Work reports to the customs authorities the amount of the collectible custom taxes and import duties due for each transaction. Let us check our progress now by telling whether the following statements are true or false. Pre-shipment inspection is the transportation of the industrial goods being exported by an independent inspection company. Quality control is a procedure or set of procedures intended to ensure that a manufactured product or performed service adheres to a defined set of quality criteria or meets the requirement of the client or customer. Free on board FOB is a trade term requiring the seller to deliver goods on board a vessel designated by the buyer. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Pre-shipment inspection of goods to ensure that the quality of goods is up to the contract between exporters and importers. There are primarily two different types of pre-shipment inspection, namely voluntary inspection and compulsory inspection. In this lesson, you have studied various methods of pre-shipment inspection.